From a very young age, Elizabeth Chabner Thompson learned what it means to be a strong woman. She was surrounded by them. All three of the influential forces in her life were touched by breast cancer. My mother was diagnosed at age 49. My grandmother and my great-grandmother had bilateral breast cancer. What makes her story rather unique, Thompson, a graduate of Yale and Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, had followed in her father's footsteps in the field of oncology. She felt a calling to help women navigate their journeys. But in 2006, it was time for her to embark on her own. I was working as a radiation oncologist. I was also raising four children, my youngest being two. And I had a family history that was um, worrisome in terms of uh, genetics. Um, and I met with a genetic counselor and my risk was high enough. High enough, she says, to consider preventative measures. I had a hard time sleeping at night with four kids, especially a two-year-old, thinking to myself, oh, if I get sick, if I have to have chemo, if I have to go daily for radiation, what am I going to do with my family and how am I going to manage that? And I was not a gambler. So she had a bilateral mastectomy with direct implant surgery. I woke up after surgery and I had this really sophisticated procedure and I looked down and I was itchy and I couldn't figure out what I was wearing and it was an old scratchy cotton white bra that must have been designed in 1970 for pr procedures that were done back then. So much of her own experience played a role in the next chapter of her life. I went to work for the plastic surgeon that operated on me thereafter, so part-time radiation oncologist, wow. part-time working with the surgeons, and I helped the next 500 women that they operated on get through the process, and that's how I designed the bra. The masthead pink bra is now used by hospitals all over the country to help patients get through the healing process. There's five points of Velcro that help with swelling, comfort, and support. And the rings hold those drains that are commonly used by doctors. It enables you to really take care of yourself and enables your family to have one less thing to worry about sourcing at the time of surgeries. Since the bra, she has created a growing line of products that she hopes empowers women of all shapes and sizes during recovery. I have enormous satisfaction in my daily job because when I go to work, I can help hundreds, sometimes thousands of women in a day. You know, when I was a radiation oncologist, I could help maybe 30 people in a day when I'd see patients. Natalie Herbick, Fox 8 News.